surrounded by supportive truckers across the state. Tow truck driver Jonathan Taylor killed on the Will Rogers Turnpike near Claremore. He was laid to rest today. Taylor was hit by a semi last Friday while trying to load another semi onto his wrecker. Two Works for You reporter Micah Hatfield has the emotional show of support. It was incredible to see the procession of tow trucks headed south on Highway 75. More than 80 showed up to honor Jonathan Taylor and his family. It's a brotherhood. Uh, we all are, are really close knit type family type deal. You know, so when there's a loss like this, I mean, it, especially, I mean, even though we're 100 miles up, up the road, it's still close to home. So it, it affects all of us. All over Oklahoma, up to Kansas City. Though all of these tow truck drivers may not know JT, they understand. Their office every day is the side of a busy road. It's scary, honestly. I mean, it really is, because uh, you never know. I mean, you, you spend just as much time with your head on a swivel as you do doing the work you're doing. All while thinking about getting home safely to their family. Tragically, JT left behind a wife and three kids. I can't imagine what, what would happen if I, if I couldn't make it home to them. OHP says it's horrible that it takes an event like JT's death to make people aware of the move over law. It requires drivers to switch lanes when an emergency vehicle or tow truck is stopped with their lights on. Something so simple could have saved JT's life. Slow down, pay attention, sit up straight and, and, and give us just a few seconds because that's all it's going to take for you to get by us. His memory won't be forgotten anytime soon. These ribbons on the tow truck driver's shirts are for him. The fire department has a thin red line, the police department has a thin blue line, we got the thin yellow line. The, the black is the pavement, that yellow line is that line there that's supposed to protect us and keep people on in their lane away from us. And then the chain that we have on there is, is representing JT's chains. We're now dragging them for him because he's no longer here. A fundraiser was set up for JT's family. We'll have a link to that on our website. Jinx, Micah Hatfield, Two Works For You.